हाउ वर्ल्ड वॉर वन बिगेन वट वर द कॉजिज एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड वॉर वन वाई फोर वेनरेबल इम्पीरियल डिनेस्टीज ऑफ जर्मनी ऑस्ट्रिया हंगरी रशिया एंड टर्की अबॉलिश्ड हाउ वर्ल्ड वॉर वन कॉज एपिडेमिक ऑफ स्पेनिश फ्लू दैट किल्ड फिफ्टी मिलियन पीपल अराउंड द ग्लोब वाई ट्रेटी ऑफ वर्साए दैट वॉज मेंट टू प्रिवेंट अनदर वर्ल्ड वॉर रादर प्रोवोक्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर टू लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड द आंसर्स टूगेदर वर्ल्ड वॉर वन ऑल्सो नोन एज द ग्रेट वॉर बिगेन इन नाइनटीन फोर्टीन आफ्टर द एसेसिनेशन ऑफ आर्स डूक फ्रेंस फर्डिनेंड ऑफ ऑस्ट्रिया his murder escalated the conflict into war across europe that lasted until 1918 during the conflict the central powers germany austria hungary bulgaria and the ottoman empire fought against the allied power consisting of great britain france russia italy romania japan and the united states of america due to new military technologies and the horrors of trench warfare world war 1 saw unprecedented levels of annihilation and decimation life in trenches was horrific there were rats dirt that consequently spread disease which killed more people than direct fire young lieutenant wrote to his mother that i haven't been killed yet but it is a matter of time By the time the war was over and the allied power claimed victory more than 16 million people soldiers and civilians were dead let's see which incident ignited the full scale war tensions had been brewing with throughout europe especially in the troubled balkan region of south east europe for years before world war 1 actually broke out a number of alliances involving european powers the ottoman empire russia and and other parties had existed for years but political instability in the balkans particularly bosnia serbia and herzegovina threatened to destroy these agreements this spark that ignited world war 1 was struck in sarajevo a capital city of bosnia and herzegovina where archduke franz ferdinand heir to the austro austro hungarian empire was shot to death along with his wife sophie by the serbian nationalist gavrilo princip on june 28 1914 the reason gavrilo princip shot archduke franz ferdinand was because princip and other nationalists were trying to, were tr- were struggling to end austro-hungarian rule over bosnia and herzegovina the assassination of franz ferdinand set off a rapidly escalating chain of events austria hungary like many other countries around the world blamed serbian government for attack on franz ferdinand and hoped to use the incident as justification for settling the question of serbian nationalism once and for all because mighty russia supported serbia austro hungary waited to declare war until its leaders received assurance from german leader kaiser wilhelm the 2 that germany would support their cause austro hungarian leaders feared that a russian intervention would involve russia's ally france and possibly great britain as well On July 5th, Kaiser Wilhelm secretly pledged his support, giving Austria-Hungary Austria-Hungary a so-called carte blanche or blank check assurance of Germany's backing in the case of war. The dual monarchy of Austria-Hungary then sent an ultimatum to Serbia with such harsh terms as to make it almost impossible to accept. Convinced that Austria-Hungary was re- uh, was ready for war, the Serbian government ordered the Serbian army to mobilize and appeal to Russia for assistance. On July 28th, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia, and the fragile peace between Europe's great powers quickly collapsed. Within a week, Russia, Belgium, France, Great Britain, and Serbia. had lined up against austria hungary and Germ- germany and world war 1 had begun the causes of world war 1 can be engulfed in five platters mania where m stands for militarism a stands for alliances among the countries of mutual defense agreements and important alliance was triple entente where in britain russia and france agreed not to sign for peace separately N stands for nationalism, I for imperialism, and A for assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. According to an aggressive military strategy known as the Schlieffen Plan, named for its mastermind, German Field Marshal Alfred von Schlieffen, Germany began fighting World War One on two fronts: invading France through Belgium in the west and confronting Russia in the east. 
On August 4, 1914, German troops crossed the border into Belgium. The Germans left death and destruction in their wake as they advanced through Belgium towards France, shooting civilians and executing a Belgian priest they had accused of inciting civilian resistance. The Battle of the Somme, which took place from July to November 1916, began as an allied offensive against German forces on the Western Front and turned into one of the most bitter and costly battles of World War I. British forces suffered more than 57,000 casualties, including more than 19,000 soldiers killed on the first day of the battle alone, making it the single most disaster disastrous day in that nation's military history. By the time the Battle of the Somme, sometimes called the First Battle of the Somme, ended nearly five months later, more than three million soldiers on both sides had fought in the battle and more than one million had been killed or wounded. At the outbreak of the fighting in 1914, the United States remained on the sidelines of World War I, adopting the policy of neutrality favored by President Woodrow Wilson while continu continuing to engage in commerce and shipping with European countries on both sides of the conflict. Neutrality, however, was increasingly difficult to maintain in the face of Germany's unchecked submarine aggression against the neutral ships, including those carrying passengers. In 1915, Germany declared the waters surrounding the British Isles to be a war zone, and German U-boats sunk several commercial and passenger vessels, including some U.S. ships. Widespread protest over the sinking by U-boats of the British Ocean liner Lusitania, traveling from America to England with hundreds of American passengers on board in May 1915, helped turn the tide of American public opinion against Germany. In February 1917, Congress passed a $250 million arms appropriations bill intended to make the United States ready for war. Germany sunk four more U.S. merchant ships the following month and on April 2, Woodrow Wilson appeared before Congress and called for a declaration of war against Germany. By the fall of 1918, the central powers were defeated on all fronts. Despite the Turkish victory at Gallipoli, later defeats by invading forces and an Arab revolt that destroyed the Ottoman economy and devastated its lands, and the Turks signed a treaty with the Allies in late October 1918. Austria-Hungary dissolving from within due to growing nationalist movements among its diverse population reached an armistice on November 4. Facing dwindling resources on the battlefield, discontent on the home front and the surrender of its allies, Germany was finally forced to seek an armistice on November 11, 1918, ending World War I. At the Paris Peace Conference in 1919, Allied leaders stated their desire to build a post-war world that would safeguard itself against future conflicts of such devastating scale. Some hopeful participants had even begun calling World War I the war to end all wars. But Britain and France wanted revenge of the loss incurred by World War I. Thereby, it took six months to draft Treaty of Versailles, which was eventually signed on June 28, 1919, that imposes heavy reparations on Germany. Besides, Germany was not even, in, not even invited in the peace process. War guilt heavy reparations and denied entrance into the League of Nations, Germany felt tricked into signing the treaty, having believed any peace would be a peace without victory, as put forward by President Wilson in his famous 14-point speech of January 1918. As the years passed, hatred of the Versailles Treaty and its authors settled into, the, into a smoldering resentment in Germany that would two decades later be counted among the causes of the World War II. World War I took the lives of more than 9 million soldiers, 21 million more were wounded, civilian casualties numbered uh, close to 10 million. The two nations most affected were Germany and France, each of which sent some 80% of their male population between the ages of 15 and 49 into battle. The political disruption surrounding World War I also contributed to the fall of four venerable imperial dynasties Germany, Austria-Hungary, Russia and Turkey. World War I brought about massive social upheaval as millions of women ent entered the workforce to replace men who went to war and those who never came back. The first global war also helped 
to spread one of the world's deadliest global pandemics, the Spanish flu epidemic of 1918, which killed an estimated 20 to 50 million people. The reason it was called Spanish flu because every country involved in war was censoring information about the death deaths caused by uh, Spanish flu because they wanted to portray huge manpower to their enemies. Hence, Spain was the only country that was not censoring information about deaths caused by Spanish flu. Therefore, it was named Spanish flu. World War I has also been referred to as the first modern war. Many of the technologies now associated with the military conflict, such as machine guns, tanks, aerial combat, and radio communications were introduced on a massive scale during World War I. The severe effects that chemical weapons such as mustard gas and phosgene gas had on soldiers and civilians during World War I galvanized public and military attitudes against their continued use. The Geneva Convention Agreement signed in 1925 restricted the use of chemical and biological agents in warfare and that remains in effect even today. What do you think about the outcome of World War I? Do share your opinion in comment section.